You must have seen people that have made a whole lot of money by simply trading cryptocurrencies. Like it's all over on social media and every other space you look, you get to see people who get to flaunt their wealth and show up their cash just by simply trading cryptocurrency. But as well, there is a whole lot of other persons who have actually been able to trade cryptocurrencies and they lose all of their cash. I would even say for most of us out there, one of the reasons we're actually scared of even trying out cryptocurrency is because of the fact that there is the possibility to lose everything you actually have in one simple minute when you're trading cryptocurrencies. And this simply shows us that trading cryptocurrencies can be very volatile. It can either make you millions of dollars in a minute or hurt you so much that you lose everything you get to have. In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys a simple walkthrough for anyone who is out there and looking at how they can start trading cryptocurrencies the right way and how they can be profitable. For people like me, I actually placed myself in the side where I feel like I was pretty very much lucky because the first trade I made with cryptocurrency earned me over 500,000 naira. I actually made that video Video about a year ago and you can actually see that video up here but then after then I actually made a series of losses and then I had to sit my ass down and focus on how exactly I can actually learn what it takes to really make profits in this particular space but I want to practically share with you guys in this particular video what to do if you're a beginner and you're looking at trading cryptocurrency but then this video is not me sharing any financial advice you can actually go ahead and do what you feel like you want to do and that is good as well and I'm going to be sharing with you guys this first step. It's very important that you get to actually follow and listen to all of these four steps so that you do not miss out any of it and you can actually start this process correctly for yourself. So avoid you making losses. Well, I'm actually not promising that you're going to be profitable still. But before we jump on there, if you love this video, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up right now. And as well, you can actually subscribe to my channel, smash on the bell icon so that when I create videos like this one, you are notified and you can come over and watch. If you actually have any concerns as I walk you guys through this video, please go ahead and ask your questions in the comments down below. I'll do well to answer them. And when you get replies, please make sure you check out for my name and also with the checkbox in front of it so that you don't actually get attacked by scammers in the comment section. As well, make sure to check for all of the links I'm going to be dropping here in the description of this particular video. So open the description for any of the information you need, right? And as well, access to my social media handles if you want to reach out to me. Please do not reach out to scammers who might be in the comments jump there with you. Now, these four steps actually start with the very first one, which is do your research, right? You cannot take away researching when it comes to trading cryptocurrencies. And this might actually be one of these huge tasks you might do when you are getting started. But then it is also the most important because you cannot just walk into a stream without trying your first foot first to see how deep that particular area of order is. And this is exactly how cryptocurrency is. It's a very volatile market and you really do not want to get to hit losses as you get started. And most people actually get to hit a lot of losses basically because they do not research. They do not know what they are doing. They do not try to sit their ass down and research what exactly can they get started with or how should they get started. Now, and because of this, they get to start trading cryptocurrency with the try and error mindset and definitely you are going to lose a whole lot of cash from doing that. Now, the second one here is you deciding if you're going to be a long-term trader or a short-term trader. Now, this too actually has its own side. Uh, sometimes people actually call long-term trading investing, right? Crypto investing and all. Now, this is where you get to buy a particular cryptocurrency and yours is to hold it for a very long period of time from months to even years. And this is actually quite cool, but then it works better if you really see a cryptocurrency and you believe in the future of that particular crypto and you're like, you don't want to stress yourself with actively trading a particular cryptocurrency, you can go ahead and buy and hold for a very long period of time. But then on the other side, we have short-term traders who basically buy and they get to trade this cryptocurrency actively. Yeah, it is actually a more active process and it's also very risky, but at the same time, it takes a whole lot of, you know, you putting your eyes right down there and you understanding how these things work and see where you can actually take profits and also know what cryptocurrency will give you huge potential returns. Now, this way, you're able to profit with cryptocurrency whether the market is actually dropping or it is rising as well. And the third one here is to learn how to place trade and read charts. Now, looking at this on my screen here, this can actually sound very confusing if you do not really know any of this, right? Basically, this is actually an example from a trading platform that actually shows you a Bitcoin slash USDT market 
with the important parts that are annotated right so this is exactly what you get to see and you really need to understand what all of these things mean how to place straight here on the screen and as well how to read and understand what they are now the next one here is understanding what crypto exchange platform is best for you to get started with a lot of crypto exchange platforms that are available right for you on the internet but then you really need to know which is best for you to get started with and how you can actually start trading as a beginner now in this particular video i'm going to share with you guys this simple binance platform that best fits every beginner who is looking at getting started with cryptocurrency yes you might have actually heard of binance but then this is another side of what they have that is easier for anybody starting out with trading cryptocurrencies to understand and get started with so this right here on my screen is the binance light platform and this binance light platform basically is actually one of the side of binance that is well tailored to helping beginners get started right okay yeah we're still in the binance pro so they actually have two there is a binance light and there is there is, there is a binance pro and here on the binance pro uh to get to the binance lights you can basically just smash on this icon here and click on this button right with our mobile phone or even with the desktop and okay yeah we're coming to binance pro now this is binance pro here and firstly you can basically look through the binance pro platform here and you can see everything that is on this particular space right it gives you access to a whole lot of information but as well this might be quite confusing to someone who is just getting started and this is exactly why there is a simple platform here binance light that you can get started with as a beginner right so you can see binance light right here and you would basically just get to see that there are less information here but as well it is very easy for anybody who is looking at getting started to see and understand right so all of those big big stuff sort of those, those jargons that you actually feel like oh i can't really get started with this particular thing it is simplified in binance light okay now coming over here you can see here it says for beginners and you can see these are the different coins that are widely known okay yeah from bnb to bitcoin to ethereum and you can see several stable coins from BUSD and Theta US, right? That's the USDT coin. Now, I'm scrolling down, you can see the coins here. Uh, you can see the hot coins here from BNB, Bitcoin, Ethereum, and all. You can check for the market cap here. You can see it here. You can check for the price of these coins. It gives you the price of the coins. And as well, you can, you can also check for the 24-hour change, okay? Now, I'm still scrolling down. You can see the several coins that are here. And all you basically need to do right now is to go ahead and you get to sign up. Okay? Yeah, you get to sign up. Right? But then, uh, when you're actually signing up, you're going to be seeing my link. I'm going to leave a link for you guys right down there in this one particular video. So, sign up. Go ahead and click that particular link. Yeah, it's my referral link. But then, you know, I'm sharing this with you. That's just a thank you gift for me if you use my link while you're signing up to this particular platform. So, you go ahead and go through the sign up process and i really implore you that you get to sign up using your real details because it's very important and as well you get to follow up with every of the kyc process that is here okay so let me just continue with my google application since it's linked already i can do that and once i have done this right now um you can see here it's asking for a referral id so at this option where it's asking for a referral id you can see my id on the screen right here go ahead copy my id and that is exactly what you're going to place inside of this particular space okay so once you put my id inside of this particular option you can click on confirm and okay let's tap this button and also tap this one and click on confirm and once we've clicked on confirm here it brings us to this particular page where we need to now proceed to the next step where we start to do our kyc right kyc name your customer is just a simple way for you know uh, platforms to get to know you as a customer on this very space so you can see the account verification let's go ahead and click on verify right now and we can actually go through this particular process okay so we need to put in our country of residence and then we can also provide them with different you know id whichever id is okay for us to do and within seven minutes you are done with your kyc and your account is open for you now if you actually have any issues when you're actually setting up this account you can actually go ahead and check the link in the description you're going to get access to my crypto community right and uh, you can join the community and in there you can ask your questions and we can actually get to walk you through this process okay now i'm logged in here in my account and basically you might actually want to see how to buy and sell cryptocurrency and this is exactly where i'm going to come right now smashing on this particular button and you can see it says buy sell convert and deposit okay so let's say i want to buy cryptocurrency it says i can buy cryptocurrency with ngn 
I can go ahead and click on buy. And once I click on buy, um, I just want to buy USDT, right? So USDT is a stable coin, right? And I can go ahead and buy. Let's say I want to buy for a thousand naira. So you can see you can actually buy for a thousand naira here on Binance. Okay, so let's click on buy. And when we click on buy, it's actually giving us the options that we can actually use when we are making purchase for this uh, USDT. Right, so let's say I'm, I'm purchasing for 10,000 naira. 10,000 naira that's going to give me 12.8 USDT, right? And this is the three options is giving us here whether we're going to be doing P2P trading or we are buying with a card or bank or we are buying with cash balance, okay? So let's say I want to confirm to do this by P2P trading. I'll actually follow through the process of P2P. I'll actually follow through the process of P2P, which is pair to pair. And here, uh, Binance gets to pair myself with somebody who is willing to give me this USDT, all right? Yeah, so I'm gonna be transferring this 10,000 Naira in cash to this person's personal account, and while this person transfers the 12.8 USDT down to myself, right? So what Binance actually does here is act as the escrow, right? So they hold the, the USDT for you to make sure you've actually been able to transfer as well as as well as confirm that this other person has received this particular cash before they get to release it to you. I think it's best actually create a full video where I'll show you guys how to actually do P2P with Binance so you understand the full you know, uh, process of how this actually works. But now, this is basically how you can actually buy and sell cryptocurrency using this Binance Lite, okay? Yeah, so there are several other differences with Binance Lite and Binance Pro. And you can see my screen right here, from the interface to the buy and sell to trading products, and the Binance end product, right? There is a side where you see everything that the Binance Lite has, and you can see you can buy, sell, convert, and P2P trading. It's an easy way to buy and sell cryptocurrencies. You select, you can only convert here, you can only assess flexible savings and BNB vault. But on the Pro, it gives you more options. But then, the biggest flex is the fact that as a beginner, you can actually start with the Binance Lite, and you get access to the little little things you need to get started right and as well you are not overwhelmed okay so if you actually want to get access to starting out with binance Lite right now go ahead and click the link i have in the description or use my referral code when you go ahead and download this particular application on play store or you download it on on, on on your app store right as well you make sure you get inside of my crypto community the link in the description so you can actually learn more and also ask questions if you have more questions like this i'm also going to be creating a webinar where i get to share with you guys a simple model that can actually make cash as a beginner with cryptocurrency and this webinar is going to be the first link you can actually see in the description so if you're interested you really want to see how you can profit from cryptocurrency yes you can actually make quick cash from crypto but as well you can also get to lose a whole lot lose everything you have but if you actually want to see how i do this thing and how i'm actually be able to profit from this particular model then you can actually go ahead and click the first link you see in the description and you get access to this webinar it's not free guy you have to invest yourself to learn man all <laughs> right yeah so this is it and with this guys i'll be seeing my next video and hopefully i get to discuss the p2p process with binance i just want to make this video long and make sure that you guys just get the real info right see you in my next video